Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, the career mode episode 6. So, we're at the upgrade shop. We have £42,000. So, we're halfway off ready to pay our debt. Because uh, obviously we're still owe 80 grand on the truck. However, I thought I would drop by do a service. Which was 400 quid and see if there was anything we can upgrade to yet level 8 for the next axle 10 grand for the 600 horsepower engine don't think i think i'd rather get some more money first you know instead of paying for thy engine uh truck's looking pretty bare she is i'm gonna leave that one on uh, what are we dealing with here? Don't like that on that cab. Don't even know how much these parts are. I don't think I've ever paid for them before. Right, we'll go with some bloody hell. Three grand for a bar. That's that's extortionate. That is. We do, uh, so far away this. We do do a lot of, uh, I can't wait to have an actual mouse pad. Yeah, we do a lot of driving and that, so we'll stick some decent lights on the front. Uh, obviously when we get to like level eight, we'll have more lights and things unlocked. Uh, I don't think we can really do much at the moment with us being so low. That's six grand for a set of lights. Atrocious. We can paint the door handles. I think that's a reasonable upgrade, I think. Oh, oh we can go side panel. Level 10 for the good side panel, though. We'll go with that one, though, because I think that looks alright. She's coming together. She's not looking too bad. Not looking too shabby. Uh, where are we at? We could go the little silver trim on the bottom. I would take that mirror off, but I really like that mirror because it's really handy on the three screens to see where your front bumper is. Uh, I don't think there's out else we can change at the moment, is there? No. So at ten grand, ten thousand pound for a set of lights, realistically. Right. So we've slept, we're probably going to need some fuel. Uh, what we need is a job, is what we're after. 15 grand. That gets us up to Germany, 11 grand. Don't really want to go back to Austria. I want to work my way around the place, you know. Uh, I don't mind doing two jobs like that. I'd preferably like to go up the way. Ah, oh, didn't even see that job. 700 mile, that's, that's a hefty job, isn't it? For I think we'll go 11 grand, 470 mile, I think that's sensible. Right. Check two seconds, guys. I'm just gonna make sure you guys can see the truck. Uh, see the truck. Hear the truck. For some reason, it's coming through crackly on my headphones, but I've checked the audio on uh, just quickly on a recording, and it seems fine. So I don't, I don't know what the what the crackle is here. Hey, how we doing? Right, nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. We're good. Ah, uh, that whoever asked for me to start looking left and right at junctions, I am looking. I'm doing it. I listen. What are we at? 42 kilometres to our next drop. 
Alright, I'm gonna go red. Oh, that one is though. Oh, actually, we're in the wrong lane here. Is that gone green? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I didn't even see that car. I noticed I could hear my pedals uh, being a bit loose there. Right, uh, what, 50 kilometres an hour? Yeah, we'll just back off. So, we've got... What have we got? 41 kilometres to the job. Oh, anyway, well... What? How did I get done for speeding? It says 80 kilometres. That'll be fine. Anyway, so we're back in the rig. We're back from uh, my wife's mum and dad's where we did a bit of live streaming. I don't want to put my foot down now in case I get done. Right, we're, there we go. Yeah, so we're back in the rig. All's going well, and uh, back to the normal episode. So I want to try and get an episode a day out on this to, uh, this week if I can. Just if I'm going to put like a drifting video in or something, they're only about 20 minutes. So if I'm going to put a drifting video in, I will just put it in on top of a farming and a trucking video because I'm enjoying doing this series starting from scratch. But you you need to put the time in. And uh, an episode every two days or so is not really enough, right? We need to get shifted over. Oh, good. I'll turn that indicator off now. We'll have a quick drink of pop. I can't wait to get like new lighting and whatnot. So you guys can see everything a bit better. I've just released a weekly vlog as well guys, so if you haven't watched it, jump over and watch it. And uh, next farming video will be out tomorrow night now. Well this is going to go out, is it? This will go out like early Thursday morning because I'll put it up Wednesday night, I think. Actually I shouldn't really talk about that because I'm, I'm uploading it through the night so... It should be out in the next day. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up tonight, but it might be the following day. So it's Wednesday night now. It's like uh, nearly one a.m. So I'm gonna upload this and the weekly vlog together, but they won't be done till like four o'clock the next afternoon. <laughs> so I can't really. That's why, that's why I don't put posts out or anything to say when they're going to be done because I just I just don't know. They're, they're, they're done when they're done. But uh, once we get moved, we'll be able. I'll actually be able to tell you that. Well, we'll be up in five minutes. I can't wait <laughs> to be able to do that. Right, we're coupling. I don't think we need the big lights on. What time is it in the game? Eight, two minutes past eight in the morning. So it's going to get lighter anyway. That's a nice JCB tractor, that, isn't it? I like that. Right, let's get into it. We have 470 kilometres left of the journey. We've got a quarter of a tank of fuel, so we need to go and pick up some of the old petrols. Well, diesel actually, but... We've got some fresh new lights on, but I, I, I obviously want to do some major upgrades to the truck, but I think we just need a bit more money, to be honest. So I'll probably leave the truck how it is for the next couple of episodes and try and get enough money to pay off this loan. Because we're having to pay for it every day. Right. Is anyone coming that way? 
my big mirror's in the way of that way. No, no one coming. We're good. Oh, there's police about. We're 80 kilometres an hour speed limit, so we should be alright. God, it's busy, isn't it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning, actually. Half past 8 now. That's a nice truck. Like that. I love seeing the in game vehicles. Like, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so we're back, we're back at it, guys, eh? Uh, definitely, definitely need to go and get some fuel. So, this will be handy when we're live streaming a bit more as well, because you guys will be able to tell me when I've drawn when I keep because I have to sell I need fuel now and I guarantee you I forget I need it by the time I get to the next fuel station so we actually want to be in that lane Mr. Truck Driver <laughs> we're doing a left here but I need to remember that not to hit them I'm pleased I let him in front of us because he's going left as well Nothing coming at the moment, so we're good. Try and not mount the grass for the old trailer there. Right then. So, if. Oh, we need to get out of here. Sorry, Mr. Bus Driver. So if you obviously I can't remember, I don't know which one's going to go out first, but I'm hoping to get the weekly vlog out before this one because it'll make more sense then. Uh, obviously in the weekly vlog I mentioned that we will be getting a new rig and a new monitor stand. Uh, we're going to finally have matching monitors. However, a new house. I'm just I'm going to try and keep sensible to a point. As much as I, I would love to just go and buy three matching 42 inch screens or 40 inch screens I'm just worried that it's gonna you know t take up mo too much room the stands for them are more expensive and so forth so the company that I'm in touch with do a 22 I think to 35 inch monitor stand so I'm hoping to get that and then I can go for either 27 inch monitors or 32s I think I'm gonna go 32 inch monitors because I can always fold them in on a proper monitor stand and they're not taking up too much room then. I mean, this thing's like it, like near nine foot wide and it's just ridiculous. As much as I love it, it's just not, you know, I want a really clean, nice new room. I want it to be, you know, as clean and, you know, sleek. I, I just want it to look perfect. Not for other people, for myself. I'm quite particular on that front. I've never been in a position where you know, I, I, I built up my own rig to save money so I could buy like a new wheel <laughs> and things like that back four years ago. So now I'm having to think and be clever about things. I'm going to be using it for a long time. It needs to do various things. For instance, uh, I'll be able to put a gear stick, whatever side I want, dead easily. Just, you know, pull a bar out and put it on the other side. You know, pull a bar, put it back on that side. So I'll be able to swap and change quite easily. Whereas this, if it's on the right, it's on the right. This is all bolted on. And the only thing I'll notice is it won't be as strong as this. I mean, this thing is, there's no wobble at all. It is rock solid. Uh, it's red out of roof truss material, you know. I mean, it's like three inches thick. It just doesn't move. So I'll probably notice a bit of like wheel wobble or probably notice that a little bit, but I think that's worth it for getting like a nice clean you know look we're going to build a full new desk you know so on the monitor front it means i can change the angles to whatever i want if i'm recording i can push that screen out a bit get the camera in a bit better so it, it's going to be, make us a lot more flexible ah petrol i remembered well hey uh, yeah it's going to make us a lot more flexible for recording the truck videos because you guys seem to love watching the truck videos granted not as popular as the farming, I don't care about that. 
you know, I love farming and I'm so pleased to popular. However, I love playing trucks in, so <laughs> either way, it doesn't bother me. Uh, not that often, I need the enter button, which is down here because my little keyboard battery died tonight. The one I normally have here. <laughs> Hey, it'll stick. Oh, I forgot how much fuel was when you blew your mod in it all the time. You need fuel. £900 in fuel. God, it's been an expensive day so far. I forgot to show you guys. I've got a. Uh, what have I got here? Yeah, I've got a big excavator on the back. It's alright, doesn't it? Our little truck. I like it. Uh, I put the extra lights on. I put them on before this episode. There we go. We're rolling with the big boys now. Proper lights. That looks alright, that. Looks fairly clean, doesn't it? Right, anyway, enough of that, Mark. Let's get, let's get into it. We don't need our lights on it. Whatever time in the morning it is. What time is it? Oh, wrong button. Hang on. <laughs> wrong button again. There we go. Right, anyway. No one coming. Is there anyone coming that way? No, we're good. Police car. Right, guys, let's go, let's go. We're good, we're safe. Indication. I don't know why that. I don't know why that wheel deck's come loose. Hey, wheel deck. Hang on. This is some complication driving. Trying to think. Oh, I'll tell you what it was. The sensor for the clutch and the fanatic pedals, the wire snapped again, that to solder it. That's what it is. I've even got the soldering iron out. But uh, I've got no idea what I did with the actual Allen key for it. Nah. It's just a bit wobbly. We'll tighten it up after. Alright, let's get back into it. So, yeah, as I say, I'm going to have a few more camera angles set up. You guys really. You didn't like it when I had it on a steeper the camera set up differently, but I think I'm going to change it back to that when I move because I'm also going to set up a recording of the gear stick and that because you guys missed that. So we're going to have maybe a foot cam. We won't have the face cam. Uh, I'll probably have a foot cam, gear stick cam, and then, you know, me. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to play with a few ideas and try and change it up a bit you know but uh, we'll see we've got a American truck simulator career uh, coming up I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead with that but uh, we'll, we'll wait and see I, I, I think I, I think I definitely will go ahead with that uh, hey, you've got to keep your game up we've got uh, Dirt 4 I really really wish I could have got that out earlier but uh, just haven't had time Everything else has taken up my time so much. Right, we're speeding slightly, we'll better kill the speed a bit there, Mark. Ooh. Sorry about that, you don't want to watch me yawn. <laughs> Where are we at? So, uh, 330 miles ago, but eight kilometres, but that's ah, not that big, like, I mean. It was so, ooh, 93 kilometres an hour, Matt. Jeez, calm down. I want to do better driving than I was on the live streams. <laughs> that was bad. Trying to read, man. It's different on here, because, like, I can literally look at the screen and I can glance up to the top screen, and I could read comments all day. You know, like, I'm looking up there now at the, at the actual stream, and I could read that all day. Uh, but with the laptop being on there it was weird but it won't be like that forever on the desk setup because I'm gonna set another monitor up anyway because I think it'll just be handy to have but then also 
we'll be going back to the rig soon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so bloody tired at the minute. All that live stream, I might did me in, I think. <laughs> trying not to speed because there's a cop car up there. And I'm trying to be sensible. Can't wait to get a new axle for the truck. It needs it, like... It's level 8, I think, the next axle. I think that's a twin, I think. I don't know that much about trucks, but I think it gives us an extra wheel. Uh, which I think will be handy and it'll make the truck look nice, but... We're down to like 29 grand. So I probably shouldn't have done the got the lights and that for the truck because by the time I do this job today it'll be back to what we had when we started. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. It's like I'm making myself yawn. Oh, I'm not even that tired to be fair. Right, so we're coming off here. Dip the indicator now, I think. And we're down to 40 kilometres an hour. That's us. God, it feels like you could get out and walk, doesn't it? Be forgetting here, you need to just keep the truck going a bit wider than what you think. And you won't hit the barrier. God, when I first started, you all you guys laughed at me starting there. Uh, Oh, my summer car, right, but oh, if you'd have seen me when I first started this, I was terrible. God, he's coming a bit quick, isn't he? You're not even going to let us in, pal, no? He's just, just going for it. I'm coming in now. quick but we're only doing 80 oh, I'm sorry car I need to pull in here I'm gonna put my foot down just to oh that was close that was close my fault again. Them junctions, man, I just get myself right caught out with them. I don't know why. get on the old indication there but you don't need it do you ah that wasn't a that wasn't a speeding fine that that was total paid that was my loan 2300 so I'd really do with some big jobs like I remember he's uh Seeing as obviously it's quite late now, like, but uh, maybe it's the next episode, we'll maybe uh, lengthen it a little bit. I, I know you guys might not want a longer episode, but we'll need to do like the seven, 750 mile job, like. So there is 240 k's left. Uh, it reckons 3 hours and 51 minutes, which isn't bad. Yeah, we've got a 90 kilometres an hour speed limit now. Get the fuck back down. Uh, we don't need fuel, we don't need to rest yet. Tell you what, right, for your first starting out truck, it, it's not a bad truck, this, like, it really, really isn't. Police car was going well there, man. I 
just clock the speed down a bit there just in case it changed speeds. Apparently we haven't been round here yet. Well, I'm saying apparently we haven't been round here yet, but we haven't actually been round many places to be fair. tip this truck over so nice being back in a rig like after the desk granted right that uh, wheel the T150 with this gear stick and the other pedals which I left there the Thrustmaster ones tell you what if you just play an Euro truck or something like that it is definitely all you need like I mean don't get me wrong like a G27 G25 G29 or whatever they're called now all of them are, are, are perfect wheels for like this type of simulation I think you know they're very reasonable 150 200 pound I mean so it is a lot of money but a Thrustmaster variant it, it is it is more like I know some people say ah oh, Thrustmaster T150 is only 150 quid but you get a two pedal set with it which is very poor like it's, it's all right but it's not great so you then need to put 100 pound on for the shifter which makes it 250 pound and then you need to put like 80 pound on for the pedals like the three pedal set so you know all of a sudden your 150 pound wheels turn into nearly like 330 quid i mean that's a huge difference to like a thrustmaster for uh, sorry if an yeah a logitech wheel which is like 180 or something like the last time i looked you know, I paid 160 for my G27. Uh, you know, which, you know, was all right. I, I like the wheel, and I like the fact that it came in a whole set. I like stuff like that. I like you buy one thing, and it comes with all the bits. I quite like that, and you can just plug it all in, and away you go. For me, the reliability just wasn't there for the amount of hours I was putting in. I used it solid for a month, a good eight to maybe 10 hours a day uh, most days and it just I mean I got a month out the first one like two and a half weeks out the second one and then the third one I got another like month out of ish and uh, I ended up just get, get, getting it returned uh, they wouldn't give us my money back so I just uh, didn't I left it sealed and I just stuck it on eBay and I've got I haven't got a bad word you know against Logitech I think for the value for money it's about as good as you're gonna get you know with that three pedal set the gearbox you know you, the whole package I think is pretty good obviously second hand G25 G27 got to be cheaper I think I've seen them for around 100 to 120 pound on Gumtree so at the end of the day it, you know I don't like the fact that it's gear driven it doesn't feel that great but again price I can't compare my G27 to my T500 because there was what my G27 was 160 quid this was 400 so I would expect this to be better you know it's 300 pound more well yeah 250 250 quid more you know and then that's not including the that's not include oh yeah that's not including the gear sh sh stick that I bought so that puts it up to what 500 quid and then I've got the uh, Fnatic V1 pedals which I got off my dad if I if I'd paid for them as well, like putting it up to silly amounts of money. Uh, the hardest part for me is this wheel has been severely uh, reliable. It has been so reliable. Like yes, I broke it, but four years of abuse every day. I mean, stupid amounts of hours I put onto this thing. Like silly. I mean, I say eight to ten hours a day i mean i'm not joking like that amount of hours for the past four years obviously with the odd day not using it granted but you know there's days where i've been on this wheel for like 15 hours you know even longer i've been on it all night before uh when i've done some of the racing and that so i mean i have hammered it and it still feels great after i fixed it i mean it feels fantastic the force feedback feels nice but i you know the new room the new room needs needs a new wheel you know this one will get retired i've got the t150 as a backup which is 
brilliant. You need a backup wheel. I just haven't been in a financial position to buy a backup. Uh, but I, I'll never get that T T150. Will stay with me for the rest of my days. Now it'll get a light, lightly abused now and again, and you know, in between getting a new wheel and whatnot. Uh, the same as this T500. I mean, I sell nothing. I just, you know, I just don't sell things. Uh, if I'm never ever going to use it, I'll, I won't. I'll, I might sell it, but oh, red light. We didn't get done for it though. All right. But for, for me, like, if I'm putting something on a shelf, it's because it's either knackered or I'm going to use it again. So, same as my T500, I wouldn't want to put the base back on it and that and just sell it to someone. It's knackered. It's, it's had a really hard life. Uh, and I just wouldn't want, you know, possibly one of you guys buying them to think it's, it's knacked. The pedals are handy to keep for the uh, T150, you know, and she's not worth selling but it's just my biggest decision is what do I get next do I go with Fnatic and risk the reliability issues but I love their wheel rims the rims are stunning they do a nice hub F1 wheels nice they do nice stuff but <laughs> I don't know no idea I mean if I do get into testing rigs and you know if companies start sending me simulators in the future which would be brilliant uh, if anyone's watching this <laughs> but no seriously if they were it would be handy to have the T150 and even the T500 to bolt on a, another rig instead of having to strip my main rig you know it's the same with the Samson Telly be handy to keep that and I can just bolt it straight onto the you know on, onto a single screen uh, rig and test it out so I'm, I'm trying to think of the future with the new room trying to think of you know what games are going to come out what games am i possibly going to be playing uh you know i'm looking into different titles as well omzi 2 simulator i really fancy getting uh, i know it's quite simulated so i'm trying to just think ahead flight sims things like that. i really want to get that back to where i can use it i've got nowhere to put it at the minute but so ah, it's hard it's it's going to be hard decisions but we'll see We'll see how it goes. It'd be sad to see my homemade rig go, but uh, it's seen it today. It's done. It's done. It's done me well. It's a nice road, this, eh? Sorry, I, I do apologise for people watching this. I've just ranted on for the past 15 minutes about what wheel I, <laughs> I fancy on getting. I've just noticed this guy needs to sleep, but we're only uh, 51 kilometres away from our job. You're struggling up that hill there. So what we at? Been going about 40 minutes, I think, roughly. So I know he needs to sleep, and I should really pull in there. But 41 kilometres to go, like it's just not. It's just not worth stopping. I'll stop when I get to the other end. Uh, so anyway, we'll uh, we'll go and drop this off. Possibly go and find a little job to do. See how that goes. I like to keep these episodes around about the hour mark, you know. For now, I'm happy with that. You get a good bit of work done, you know, on the career mode. And, uh, and I get to chat to you guys. You know, I, lo I love after a video goes up, I love looking back through the comments. It's brilliant. Seeing if it's got any likes. I know the trucking stuff is definitely lower in the channel, but it won't stop me creating the content because I just it's one of them things for me and my channel like if if I'm so say for instance this you, well we'll take it American Trucks in because it's probably the least watched stuff on my channel or even one of the racing games right but if I'm I'm gonna go and play it anyway this is what I was trying to say to people I'm physically gonna go and sit on my rig and play this particular title so whether I record it and it does terribly on the channel it doesn't really matter because I'm still playing it anyway you guys can then look and say ah oh, he's put a race room video up not my cup of tea but at least I know why he's not been on for the last couple of hours or something or 
you might, you know, one of you might go, might have a look and say, oh, I've never seen that game before. And as far as I'm concerned, if it inspires or helps or even if, you know, one person enjoys the content, I'm happy at that. That's all I need. And pretty much, well, I'm not saying pretty much, every video I've put up, I've had at least one person either like it or say, you know, great content. Come on, it's going to go red. Fifty kilometers an hour speed, do you? That seems a bit much. I think we'll just take our time. It's a nice industrial area, this, eh? Quite like it. I better not hit that car. Eh? Oh, here comes the fun bit, the parking. Oh, I revved that a bit much, did I not? Right, where do you need it, mate? Where do you need it, buddy? Oh, let me guess, you need it right in the bloody corner. Uh, right in the middle, should I say. back out I think don't want to hit that fence I don't know where it is oh there it is I think we're a little bit off but we'll get it We're in. We're not bad. I don't think we're late and out. We need to go and sleep before I get the next job. That's what I need to remember. Excellent. 495 kilometres. Total of 11,000. And we're still on episode 6. Episode 6? We are technically on episode 6. <laughs> oh, level 6 is what I was intending to say, Mark. So I'm gonna flick along here and see if there's any. Oh, there's no small jobs. Are you kidding? Is that the smallest job available? That's huge, man. Well, that will get us into the UK. We've not been over the UK yet. Uh, Oh, this game. Right, I would say... Oh, no, I'll tell you what, we need to go and sleep. Before we look for a job, that's, that's quite important, that. Right, there's a bed and breakfast place over here. Right, anything coming? That oh, one's good. Not a speed when you've got the uh, when you haven't got a trailer on, man. The truck feels so quick, which not that I would ever know, but I would imagine they would. Ah, no, we're going over the. Oh, no, 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 that's a mistake. I'm assuming this is something you don't do on the motorway, pull straight out in front of a car. Went the wrong way, guys. I just want to go to sleep, man. So I'm assuming we need to go around the difficult way. Right, it's not difficult, but you know what I mean. Oh, is this a motel here? 
Hotel. Hello, we need a nap. Aha. Ah, another Volvo. We'll just uh, reverse our little bum in there. Right? That was a bit tight than I thought. Lovely. Right. Now we'll see if there's a little job available. Uh, 280 kilometers, a pipe, and that gets us up the way again, which is where we want to be. Lovely. So we've got one kilometer to go and pick the pipe up, which is perfect. So, a good job I looked. So, right, for fuel, we've had a quick nap, a cup of tea, sandwich, and uh, on the road again we go. So, 280 kilometres, I keep saying miles, I'm sorry guys, but... But that gets us, you know, I want to get into the UK at some point. I want to try and get all over the map. Just keep travelling. Ah, cheerful. I would have blown the uh, egg gasket on that there. I'm just going to pull in here, because that's, that's our pipe that we want. So if I go like this, and then pull into the green thing, and then we can just reverse straight back. Lovely. Nice job, Mark. Oh, can't see. Right, so we've got a big pipe on board. Let's get out of this town. So we're 10 to 1 in the morning in the game and we're like... Five past one in the morning here. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no. Sorry, bus driver. I'll just uh, get out of your way there, pal. Sorry. Oh, the car coming. We're good. We're on the road again, 238 kilometres actually, I was lying before when I said more. Right, back again. That's good, it gets us a bit further up the map and I didn't even look at what the cash was, was it six grand maybe? I mean we've got 39 but we, we got a couple of minor upgrades for the truck, we repaired the truck, we've paid the loan today. Uh, um, we'll probably be sitting about 45, 46,000 so bear in mind if I hadn't have bought the lights and whatnot for the truck we would have been sitting at like 56,000 but I'm not too bothered, I mean 2 grand a day to pay for an 80 grand loan is not that bad and we've been earning around about 15 grand an episode at the minute so you know, in the, you know the two episodes 30 grand on top of the 50 grand we'll need to have I don't, I don't think it's going to take too long before we get uh, the loan paid off. So what I'll maybe do is the next episode we'll try and take a longer job uh, just just to get a bit more money in. Knock them lights off. Just give way to me, is it? That was good. So yeah, next next episode we'll try and get 15, 20 grand and then episode after that we'll do the same and then that's the loan paid for and then, you know, th then we'll make the money. Uh, let me know in the comments guys if you if you want uh, if you want me to like get a higher driver or something. Do you want to try and buy another truck or, I don't know, by the time I've paid the load off, the load? <laughs> 
by the time we've paid the loan off, we'll probably be sitting around about 60... Uh, sorry, we'll be sitting around about episode 10, episode 8 to 10. So, we could aim for like getting a new truck in episode 10. That only thing with that is we'll have to get another loan. But I don't know, you know, you guys let me know what do you want to see, you know. If you're still watching at this point, like. <laughs> we should go for the overtake, but we shouldn't. It's like, you know, it's like a win-win situation here. Fairly safe. The full beam back on now, we're not sitting behind someone. Also, speeding slightly. Well, uh, when I say slightly, like 40 miles an hour, uh, 40 kilometers an hour speeding. There's actually a really twisty section coming up as well, so we'll, uh, I think we'll back down on the old uh, speeds a bit. Full beam is like amazing. They've got the darkness in this game. A lot of games could learn from the the lights and that. I mean, knocking your full beam off. And I don't know, it just does feel very, very real. Normally when there's street lights and that, I normally try and knock the full beam off because you, you would really, in a more built up area, you wouldn't be driving about with your full beam on. I know some people that following people on uh, multiplayer as well and some people are like, you know, oh, just run red lights and run it, you know. And that's all, I don't mind, like, especially on multiplayer, but on single player, I do like, I do like the realism side of it because I'm never going to be able to drive a truck or a car. I think, you know, and it's relaxing. Like, if you're doing like 150 mile an hour in your truck, you, you've got to like keep your eye on it and you've got to be like, not awake because obviously you can't sleep and drive. Well, you probably could, but it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a good idea, would it? But. No, I think I like the, that realism side of it where you come into a corner a bit fast, it feels like it's going to tip over. It's a 60 speed limit, we're doing 64, so... And, I don't know, I don't feel rushed in this game at all. Never, I never do. Don't feel like, oh, I need to be there now. Or, you know, I just, I don't know. I think if I want to go race, now, turn one of my racing games on. <laughs> you know, if I want to go and do something completely different, I go farming. Oh, we're getting over top. I get done for speeding. Oh no, I was only doing like 64. Oh, had to be a cop car, didn't it? Nightmare. I was actually doing like 67 light, but... He was doing like 90 to overtake us though. Should just run straight into that copper, shouldn't we? For doing us. What we? What's the crack? Oh, it's a train. A very slow train. I'll give you that. I love it. It's just they've got it so right. Yeah, the game. They've just they've got perfect, man. Come on, copper. Who 
got a job to get to, man. I'm not speeding with him in front of us. It's just it's not happening. Couldn't even tell you where I am. I should maybe start looking up these things, like you know what place I'm in, so I can say, "Oh, I'm in such and such," and like pretend I know what I'm talking about. I think we're going back to 80 speed away or 60 maybe. Back to 60. Not that that takes much acceleration to get to. I think we'll just stay in tenth up here because it looks quite, uh, quite twisty. Actually, I'll go into 12th, but I'll go into 11th. I use the splitter. That might be better, yeah. I know that sounds daft, but 6th in in this H-shifter is normally 12th, but you can use a button to split the gears into 11th. So, instead of being in 5th, which was 10th, I've gone into 6th, which is 11, uh, 12th, and then split it into uh, 11th. <laughs> if you actually know at all what I was just talking about. <laughs> I was going to say if that makes sense, but that didn't even make sense to me. Yeah, 11th is probably better down here, to be honest. Oh, we're speeding again. It's your guy's fault, this speeding, my lad. I just noticed that webcam on the bottom there. Looks a bit uh, blown out. It's really hard with the light. I'm learning. Bit. He didn't do us. God, we were so speeding there. I just saw the cop car out there in the corner of my eye. Jesus. I was doing like 71 in a 60. It's only because I've been done for speeding like three times in this episode that I'm slightly annoyed at myself. I don't think we need full beam on now, like, but I'm going to do it just because we can. Anyway, back to it. We've got, uh, what, 71 kilometres to go? We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. I've had a good drive out. I've enjoyed myself. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. So we'll get this job job dropped off and we should be back up to about 46,000. And when we started we had 42. So I know in essence it only looks like we've gained like 4 grand. But we spent 10 on the truck. Getting some new lights and getting the side crash bar for the fuel tank which i think was worth an upgrade and then uh got to put a tank of fuel in it which was a thousand pound so which you, we would have had to put a tank of fuel in it anyway so it's only the 10 grand out of the uh the money we spent on the lights and that but it is handy for the nighttime stuff the extra lights do really help like i think anyway let me know in the comments what you guys think yeah, do you think the extra lights help? I definitely do, once you learn how to turn them on like I did. Years I played this. Literally, like, two or three years I played this. And uh, complained that you put all these fancy lights on your truck and they didn't work. Until I... Until, well, I, I nearly lied there, I was going to say, until I realised. But there's someone in the comments. I need to 
find his name out again because it was ages ago but it was uh I was on multiplayer with my dad and uh I mentioned the lights and my dad had said the same you know they, they don't work you know what's the point in putting them on and I, and I kind of was like well yeah I suppose but then someone had left a comment saying we press F4 and put the auxiliary lights on and I was like oh my god what an idiot couldn't believe it yeah so you just press F4 and you've got light adjustment and obviously you can pick which light you want on and then you've got a front auxiliary roof auxiliary you just need both of them on and I was like oh and you know the funny part is I've been through that menu loads the F4 menu because you need it for your seat adjustment you know it's quite an important menu so I've been past that light thing so many times but it just shows you I just haven't read it and I, I can't be the only one I mean th the only thing that is not normally light for me because normally right if something doesn't work so say you've got quite a, a realistic simulator game like this right uh, say a simulator title uh, but anyway so when you've got quite a realistic simulator title like this right my first thought when the my, my spotlight and everything didn't work should have been oh I'll go and google it because of course they should work this game's pretty much thought about everything, you know, they've, they've gone so, you know, they've put all these features in, I should have thought, oh yeah, you will be able to put them on, how do I do it, but no, I just thought, oh, they don't work, that's a bit rubbish, and then moved on with my life, so. Tony of 50. Ah, we're here, we're at our next job. Uh, not our next job, like our next drop off. Well, that didn't take long. Awesomes. Right, so we're just going for. I'll just put this sat nav on a bit closer. We're going for a cheeky left down here. Oh, we're going to miss the red light, uh, the green light, aren't we? Oh, no, it's red. That was cheeky on me, that. Stick the handbrake on a minute. I've parked at a really stupid place, so I can't see the light. There we go. I can see the light now. feeling when you get to a job and you haven't had any like you know major I hate it when that auto click doesn't work on the on the light yeah sometimes that auto shut off on the indicators does work and sometimes it doesn't one right down the front of the docks are you aren't we one going left down there I just take me got me time guys I was gonna say I'm just taking me guys time but my brain, man, is just broken. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is green. Whoa, he was going somewhere, he didn't he's nice stopping him. Oh, you don't want to break your cows, mate. feel it now. Oh no, this one's not actually as bad as it looks, this one. Some of the countries, man, the parking is horrifically difficult. I mean, you've obviously seen it on the some of the videos I've done. That looks really stuttery on that recording there. That's weird, I'm looking at the top screen now. As I'm driving into here, it looks really stuttery, but my screen's completely smooth. 60 frames, no bother. That's weird, that. Oh, hang on, nearly stole her, nearly, nearly. Just reverse our little pretty pipe in here. Why is it so stuttery? I can see it. 
Ah, I'm not, I can, now I can do about an hour to the end of the video. If you're seeing the stutter, guys, I'm sorry. It's so smooth on my screen. Hey, time to re reverse. See, if you're going to reverse this, this sort of distance, don't forget. Take your time. The faster you go, the bigger your movements. If you put like a little adjustment in the wheel, the bigger it'll happen because you're going faster. So just take your time. The slower you drive with reversing, the better you'll be. And it's done just like that. Eh? We got an excellent. How much money did we gain? Five thousand. All right. Okay. We're nearly on the next level. Brilliant. So that was what we just dropped off. We're gonna go on. Uh, I don't know why that is stuttering. That's bothering me. I'll, I'll look into that, guys. I, I am sorry. It's not a lot I can do. Like at the end of an episode, like it's, it's difficult. That. You know, there's no way I'm recording all that. Oh, Jesus, I'm speeding, man. Right, any incoming? No. Slow down, man. Right, I'm just gonna zoom out on that sat now a bit. Oh, green light again. So nice when you haven't got a trailer on, man. So easy to speed, though. I bet everyone else did it. Shut up with the old indicator. Oh, green light again. Go on, Trump. We're just going to hop in this little uh, doofer right here. Oh, no, 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 we're not. This, that's not what I was after. I'm after the garage. We always go to the repair shop at the end of an episode, park up, say our goodbyes. That's what we do. Little Volvo behind us as well. Come on, truck, let's go. I've got places to be, man. People are seeing that. People are saying goodbye to. So we're just gonna do a little. Uh, we're going in there. Lovely. Oh, well, we could probably do with a sleep. It's uh, it's five in the morning now, so. Ah, we'll get parked up next to him. Eh? We'll do it properly. If you're gonna do it, you may as well do it properly. Hey, awesome. So, don't forget, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Stick a, a oh. Oh, that sounds terrible. That horn sounds so bad. Anyway, stick it. You know, like the video if you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't like it again, like I've said in every video, feel free to dislike it. But just leave us a comment. And let me know why you disliked it. Just so I know, and I can change whatever's wrong. Uh, don't forget, jump out. Don't go and check out the Facebook group. It's grown steady. It's I think we're like well over 50 members now, which I know doesn't seem a lot, but in the three weeks that we've had it I'm, I'm more than happy with that some really nice people over there go and check it out uh, also you know don't forget to subscribe I'm assuming a lot of you have but if you haven't go and subscribe check out the other content on the channel you know we're trying to bring as many simulation titles as we can to the channel and uh, you know other than that we'll uh, catch you guys in the next one so thanks again guys take care and I'll see you again soon